everyone, free will is one of the most debated topics in science, philosophy and spirituality. But there is a perspective that beautifully unifies all three, from quantum mechanics, Buddhist mind science and the 17 waves of the mind. If you don't know what the 17 waves of the mind are, then please watch the Consciousness Explained video in the description box below. Today, I want to explain free will as the seventh wave of the mind, the wave of decision. In quantum mechanics, before measurement, a particle exists in many possibilities, a superposition, but once information becomes available, the wave collapses into a single outcome. This tells us reality has many possible futures, but something chooses one path. That something becomes clearer when we look at at Buddhist mind theory. There are two types of reality that we create. Type 1, reality that is already fixed. The functions of your inner organs are not controlled by your choice. You cannot decide how your heart beats or how your lungs work. Because your mind carried enough positive energy to be born as a human, the life wave energy within you automatically knows how to operate your inner organs. These are determined by past mind decisions from previous existence. The choice has already been made earlier. Type 2. Reality that is still open, which is free will. This includes whether you choose to see, whether you choose to speak, whether you choose to go, stop, act or not act. How you respond to what arises. This is the realm of fresh choice, the future you are still shaping. And this is where the decision wave, the seventh wave, becomes the key. Every beat of the mind has 17 waves, each with a specific function. The seventh wave, the decision wave, the moment where the mind commits to one outcome. This is where free will happens. Not in the body, not in the senses, but in the core motion of the mind. This decision wave shapes which potential becomes reality, just like how measurement collapses a quantum wave. When you decide, the seventh wave activates. This wave interacts with the abstract elements of matter and it collapses multiple possibilities into one outcome. This means free will is a mental wave that influences quantum level potentials, creating the next moment of reality. As in the previous example, even though you cannot decide how your heart Heartbeat, you can take medicine, exercise, or choose healthy foods to improve your heart's condition. In this way, we create a combined reality shaped by both past decisions and our present choices. So free will is not just psychological, it is part of the physics of mind-matter interaction. Buddha explains, some minds filled with defilements create distorted reactive decision waves. Pure minds create strong, clear decision waves. This means some people react automatically, some people choose consciously. And awakened beings like the Buddha, 17 waves operate without defilement or distortion, allowing pure and completely conscious choice. So so what is free will? It is the part of reality that is still open, not predetermined by past life, not fixed by previous mind decisions. It is the seventh wave of each mind beat, choosing how the next moment of reality will collapse. If you understand your decision wave, you understand how you shape your future. If you want to explore how the Buddha's mind science connects with quantum physics, subscribe, comment and join me as I prepare the mind wave hypothesis for future lab testing. See you in the next video.